Daniel Andrews is blaming department officials and consultants for a $4 billion estimated cost blowout of the cancelled 2026 Commonwealth Games. The decision to scrap the event has now cost the state $380 million in compensation and prompted the Victorian Premier to rethink how his government plans to fund future projects. After inking a deal at midnight, Daniel Andrews called a rare news conference to defend the cost of the 2026 Commonwealth Games. I can confirm uh, a final settlement, $380 million, not a dollar more, uh, no court action. The matter is closed out and finalised. The deal between Commonwealth Games Federation and Australian officials came after a month of negotiations and a week of intense meetings, with two eminent former jurists acting as mediators. I will say this, I think I'm allowed to say this. Uh, you know, when this started, we were like in different solar systems. We've now got an agreement, and I think that is a good thing. Like, their parties were a long way apart. The deal immediately prompted the government to release a trove of in-confidence cabinet documents. The original cost estimate of the Games was $3 billion. By a July 2023 estimate, costs doubled. We've identified a range of additional costs in the order of $2 billion, uh, which included uh, that hyper-escalation uh, 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 that uh, has been driven by shorter time frames to deliver uh, infrastructure on time for the Games. The business case directly shows who devised the original cost estimate. The CGF foregone its bidding process, Visa Victoria held preliminary discussions and the agency and the Department of Jobs, Precincts and Regions then submitted the business case. I'm the leader of the government and I'm accountable for the decisions the government makes and that's always been my view. I'm not prepared to go and spend another four or five billion dollars to avoid this. While the Premier's flagged that the government expects findings from an Auditor-General's inquiry that may prompt reform in government departments, Daniel Andrews will also need to deal with a number of parliamentary inquiries into the Commonwealth Games decision, including an upper house inquiry in Victoria and as well a federal Senate probe. If he had any principles around this matter and had the courage, he would have stood up in the negotiations it said, I cannot agree to a term that will hide from the Victorian people the discussions that we've had and why we've ended up at $380 million. But ultimately, Victorians won't know whether the deal was value for money as the settlement is sealed. It is not the case that Victoria sought special arrangements in terms of these negotiations. Daniel Andrews gets Victorians to sign the cheque but won't tell them why they're signing it and what it's for. And the opposition argues any government cost estimate, even beyond events, is clearly compromised. We just don't know yet how broke we really are. And there is an urgent need now to review all of the Victorian budget. Simon Love, Sky News, Melbourne.